Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our first lecture in EE111 Numerical Methods and Analysis. In this video, I'll be giving to you the motivation behind numerical methods. That is, why do we use numerical methods? Have you ever considered that? Okay. So, for me to answer this, I'll, let's have an illustration. Then, then we'll come back to this. Let's have a linear equation. Our x here, our solution would be equal to for a what well, about for a quadratic equation? Our solution is Now, what about if we have higher degree equations? That is, let's have a cubic equation. How about this one? What's the solution for a cubic equation? Okay, I'll, I'll be encouraging you to try to search in the internet for the solution of, uh, of, an, of a cubic equation. So now, if you did your research, you will eventually find, as I did my research, um, the form was like this. Basically, in my research, he just um, divide all of this with e sub 3 so that you'll have just have x, x cubed, then this one. So b sub 2 here would just be a sub 2 over e sub 3, and so forth. Now, having this cubic equation, you'll find that the solution would be There.
Okay, so the solution for a cubic equation of this form is this one. If you are to check this, um, no, if you are to try, if you will try to substitute this one here, you will even, you will realize that this is actually a very long expression. And that's only for a cubic equation. Now, what if we have a quartic equation? That is, what if we have Also try to search for this one. Try to search for the um, solution. Or what if we have a quintic equation? Okay, if you did your research, as what I said, you will eventually um, observe that as the, equation, as, as the degree of your equation goes up, the complexity of the solution also goes up. In fact, when you reach this point, that is, the degree now is 5 or even higher. Okay. When you reach 5 or higher, you will come up with this theorem, the Abel-Ruffini theorem. Which says that to this kind of equation, there is no solution in radicals. No solution in radicals. What's a solution in radicals? Solution in radicals means that it's an expression that uses the coefficients of your equation. So it uses the coefficients of your equation and uses the basic operations like this okay so according to Abel Ruffini theorem for equations the of degree five or higher there is no solution in radicals that is of this form that's x1 up to x5 is equal to something in terms of um, b b sub o up to b sub five or b sub four Okay, so this one is an, no, no, wait, this is um, to say it in a general way, because it's not for all, that is, there are, there are equations of degree, degree 5 or higher which can be solved analytically, however, most, you can't solve it, um, for example, um, x to the 5 minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. For example, this one. You can't solve, you can't find a solution for this in radicals. But there are examples which are solvable. For example, is this one. x is equal to, the solution for this will be 1. Or let's say you have um, an equation in in degree five or higher which are which can be factored so such kind of equations can also be solved analytically but then again most equations of degree five or higher um, there's no solution in radicals to that so this is now to so can, there's no solution in radicals can solve this one so as we can observe as the degree of your equation goes up, the complexity goes up. 
you can and you'll even reach the point which at which it's impossible to solve the equation analytically so because we have problems which are difficult or impossible to solve analytically then we need to find another method by which we can obtain the solution or, or, or let's say approximate the solution okay, without going through um, solving, solving it um, in the hard way. Okay. That's when analytical and uh, no, numerical methods come into play. So why do we use numerical methods? Because not all equations are analytically solvable. So that's why we need to approximate the solution. So the, the main reason is, uh, the answer for that is not all um, equations So why do we use numerical methods? It's because there are problems, there are or equations which are not solvable analytically. By the use of numerical methods, we can approximate the solution without going through the hard way. Okay. Um, we can approximate the solution quickly. Why do we use numerical methods? Because not all equations are solvable analytically.